Ah, we are live, we are live. And no headache this time, wonderful. All right, Facebook fam, let me just get the Instagram fam online, all right? All right, so setting that up. Ah, uh, yes, we are back. Facebook fam. Uh, do, 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 do. Instagram fam, what's going on? Facebook fam, what is going on? Marlene, hello, nice to see you again. <laughs> How are things with you tonight, Marlene? Erica, nice to see you. How are you doing today? Instagram fam, I see you guys are starting to trickle in. Peachy, I like that. I like that, Marlene. Peachy. <laughs> so today is going to be kind of fun. If you guys are checking me out from Stefan, what's going on, Mr. Duncan? Today's going to be fun. If you guys are checking me out from the Facebook feed, I'm actually going to be testing out my new uh, webcam software. So you guys see I got a little fancy. Are you, tell me if you guys are seeing this at the bottom, the, the online business educator. Are you guys seeing that at the bottom for the Facebook fam? Let me know, let me know someone, let me know if you guys are seeing that at the bottom, the, the, the Karen Rose online business educator. Uh, when, when one of you guys from Facebook will tell me that. Fit, Instagram fam, what is going on? Happy to see you guys again. Let me let me show some love. Let me show some love. Steph, perfect. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of minutes. Let uh, let the uh, let the people join us. You know, before we get uh, started. Tonight is all about digital services. Digital services. Last night was digital products. Tonight. I pitched it to you guys, what you guys wanted to, to talk about tonight, and the public said digital services. You guys want to know what sort of services can you guys start to render now? All right, so we're going to be going to be diving that we're going to be diving into that tonight. <laughs> All right, so I'm just giving everybody another minute or two to log in to the to the live stream. All right, Instagram fam, talk to me. You guys know what I like, lots of hearts. Drop your comments, what's going on? Say hello, let me know you're in here. You know, Facebook fam, let me know you guys are inside here too, you know? Marlene, yes, don't worry, man, don't worry. I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm learning, I'm implementing, and you know, once I, once I master things, then I have no problem sharing but uh the, the the stuff that i'm using for the facebook stream um I'm, I'm liking and i didn't even get a chance to like do a lot i'll give you guys a quick story while i was waiting jason what's going on leaks richie what's going on um today i i knew i wanted to do the live tonight right and again lives are something i wanted to do for a while and uh, one of the things that is required to do, a, to do a really good live stream is a very good webcam. So from since about December, I was like, I done did all my research, what camera I wanted to buy, it's in my cart. December, I was like, you know what, uh, let me not buy just yet. I know I'm not gonna do a webinar right now, so uh, let me put it off. January, nah. Now I know I'm not going to do a webinar, ah, put it off. February, I'm like, you know what, I could see myself doing some webinars very soon, but I still put it off. So when I woke up today and I'm like, you know what, today's the day I'm going to order my webcam. 
The webcam is a, is a, is a Logitech Brio. It's a 4K, uh, 4K streaming webcam. It was $75 when it was in my cart. When I went to go to my cart to check it out, I seen 360 US. I said, oh, the heck up. What just happened? How did we get from 75 US to 350 plus US for this same webcam? And then when I went through all the rest of the listings, I realized that the, the webcams have quadrupled in price. So I started to look at older models, the C922, the, the C920s and whatnot going back, and everything is over 150 US. So then I went from eBay, one of Amazon, Amazon was even worse, Amazon's even more expensive. So I'm like, okay, are you guys trying to tell me that it is going to be cheaper for me to buy this webcam in Trinidad than it is to order online? Is that what's really going to happen right now? Well, I started to call around to some computer shops and nobody had webcams in stock. Everybody's webcams sold out. Forget just Logitech. Everybody's webcams. Nobody has webcams. And it hit me like, this coronavirus is making people rich. <laughs> there are people getting rich. Logitech is, is they're selling out. It's selling like hotcakes. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm loving the fact that we're doing this because this it just shows that even when some people are taking hits, there are some people making a lot of money during this pandemic. Logitech, yo, I'm telling you guys from now on, Jason, you got to hook me up. Kalisha, I know if, if, if you do stocks, Kalisha, you got to tell me to and holler at me. But if you, whoever does stocks, let me know because I need to buy some stocks in Logitech. I checked out Logitech, they're on back order for things. So I don't know what, well, we do know what's going on. Everybody's working from home and everybody wants webcams now, right? So webcams are selling, they're selling like hotcakes. Let's go buy some stock in some, uh, some, uh, some webcam companies or whatever, right? But again, it's just crazy that we are, some of us are taking hits. And others, they're thriving right now. They're thriving. And yeah, Steph, you know, uh, he, he, he threw up his, he was selling his webcams. He, was, he had two Logitech C920s. He was selling it for like 300 TT. And then when I told him, yo, the price of the things are going up, he threw it online for 150 US each. And look at that, he just made that money. That is insane, right? So you see, I got fancy. Now I can do, I can highlight your guys' uh, comments and stuff like that on Facebook. I wish we could do this kind of stuff on Instagram, but you know what? Anyways, let's jump into why you guys are here. First things first, I want to thank all of you for tuning in. You guys could be doing anything in the world right now, but you guys are chilling with me. And you know what? For that, you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> so if you guys have been tuning in to me if you guys have if this is your first time tuning in to me my name is Karen Rose and I am a mobile and online business educator what the heck does that mean it means that I love to talk about smartphone technology and how you guys can make the most out of it and how it can enrich your lives and I sell the technology via my Droid Island website. I am the owner of Droid Island as well. And also the online business, because I had to learn all of these skills to build that business, over the last two years, people have started to just contact me a whole lot more. Hey, you know, who did your website? You know, who does your SEO? Who, who does your email marketing? Who does this? Who does that? And I'm like, I do all of that and I realized that over the past couple of years there's a lot of skills I've had to learn as a as a small business owner um, out of necessity you know what I mean um, Damon John calls it the power of broke when you can't afford to hire people you gotta learn them skills <laughs> when you cannot afford to hire people 
you bet your bottom dollar you gotta sit down and spend the time you either have the money or you have the time to learn skills so that you can build your business the beauty of it is that I have been fortunate enough to learn a lot of the high income skills so learning how to build websites learning how to do SEO learning digital marketing whether it's the email marketing whether it's notification marketing whether it's the Google business marketing um, and there's a lot of systems that, I, that I've learned to just implement in my business or whatever and now it's a perfect it's a perfect storm because we in the Caribbean have been behind the curve for so long that most people have been taking you know the, what they have built 10 years ago 20 years ago for granted they've never cared to really evolve because well you know as I say if it's not broke don't fix it so a lot of people have not transitioned or added digital components to their business so now that the the COVID-19 virus is here they are shitting bricks they are not doing well they're either closing down or they're taking hits and they're now scrambling to figure out how they can get online and what sort of products they can what sort of digital products they can add or what sort of digital services they can add so tonight we're going to be talking about digital services digital services that you can add as a business owner or if you're a, if you're a nine to fiver and you want some extra income listen who doesn't want to make the extra money right now there are services that you can start to do to earn additional income and we're going to talk about that right so before we get started ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys have your pens, your papers. I'm known to drop a couple of jewels here and there. There might be something you, you hear that I say that you might like, that you might want to write down. You might want to go and get that bottle of water from now because when we start, we're going to start. All right? So I'm going to give you guys 20 seconds to go do that. If you don't already have your pens and papers, go grab that. No problem. Because tonight... I'm trying out some new wine. So this wine is a uh, is Hardy's Moscato. Has anyone ever tried Hardy's Moscato? I'm a Moscato drinker. I I, I don't have much of a of a wide uh, palate for wine. It's Moscato for me, and that's about it. But um, I've seen this one. I've never heard of it. Never tried it. If you have tried it, let me know if it tastes good or whatnot. But you know what? I'm gonna fill my cup. Hopefully you guys got some wine in your cups or some water. Hopefully you have your notepad and pen and paper now because we're about to get started. All right? All right. Isn't it beautiful when you work for yourself and you could just pull, pull out a bottle of wine and have a good time with your, with your audience? All right? Cheers. All right. So... I want to start with why should we be thinking digital? All right, why should we be thinking digital? Take a moment to think about what is happening in the beautiful country of Trinidad. And we don't just have people from Trinidad inside here, we have people from Jamaica. We I know we got my Toronto family inside here, so it's it's happening everywhere, right? But if you are in the Caribbean, right, think about what is happening. COVID-19 is forcing us to stay home. If you cannot go to your job and you don't have any any uh, you don't have any of the systems set up to sell your products or sell your services online, and you have to actually go into your, 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 your job or your place of business to make money, you've essentially created a job for yourself. You are still trading hours for dollars because essentially you have to go somewhere to still make money. You still have to punch a clock, even though you're the boss of that institution, you still have to punch the clock to make money. Nothing wrong with that, right? Don't get me wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're your own boss. What could be wrong with that? However, in a time like this, where you are not being forced to stay home, and you have it taken front before front took you, and you do not have a website, you do not have your email list set up, you do not have any of the 
digital components set up so that you can render your services or your products online. You don't have anything set up where you can send a digital invoice and your clients pay you via uh, uh, their credit card online. Right now, you're in a tough, tough situation. So taking advantage of the digital age, if you have started to transition some of your services online, where you know what, maybe you don't need to visit clients anymore. You can do a lot of the a lot of the services you render remotely, and you can send an invoice, and they pay it via credit card, or they can do an online bank transfer, or if you set up with Paywise, and they and somebody could at least you know visit a, a Paywise agent close to them um, anywhere in the country, they can still pay you in cash. They don't actually have to give you the money if you have set those things up prior to this then you are set to be able to ride this out a bit better than the people who have not all right so the silver lining and i and i really wanna i i, I wanna highlight this but i don't want it i i don't wanna i i, I don't wanna demean what is happening but there's a silver lining to all of this the silver lining is it has now forced everybody to think about a digital business or if you have a in-person business or a brick and mortar store it is forcing people to start thinking about adding digital components to their current business model so that's the silver line right and when this is finished everybody is going to figure out what they can add on a, on a long-term basis and I worry for some people because what's going what's gonna to happen too is if your business realizes, wait a minute, our secretary who is taking notes, uh, we were fine without her for, for two months because we were doing everything via CRM. When you guys go back to work, that secretary might not have a job. <laughs> There's a lot of people who might not have a job when they come back because your business was forced to look at a solution to replace what you were doing during the downtime. All right, so everybody has to be thinking digital. Even if you're not a business owner, as a employee, you have to be looking at what digital trends are happening because if your employers are implementing those things, you could be out of a job by the time the COVID-19 break is over. All right? That's why everybody should be thinking digital. Now, in order to start thinking about, well, you know, what service could I, could I, could I start? You know, if I have a business, what, what services do I offer? Um, could, I, could I take online? Could I do online? If I am a, if I'm an employee, right? And I like my job or, you know, it pays the bills, I got to keep it, but I want additional income. What digital service can I render that doesn't require my physical presence? What service can I render so that I can earn additional money? The three questions you need to ask yourself are, one, what tasks do you do in your business daily or as an employee? Start taking stock about everything that you do on a day-to-day -day business in your business or as an employee because chances are there may be a skill or there may be a task that you are doing that you have become very good at that other people might want to outsource that for you. So for example, let's just say you are somebody who is uh, you, you, again, you were in the Caribbean, so you know everything is pen and paper, right? Your boss comes to you with stacks of paper and they say, hey, we need you to, to digitize these documents. We need you to type over these documents. We need you to add these documents to our, to our cloud base or whatever. If you are somebody who could render a service like that, where you could digitize documents, let's just say a business, you know, people, people scan the documents to you and send it over to you. And, and, and you digitize it, that's, a, that's something that you can actually do, right? If you are somebody who is great at copywriting, that's a service you could render digitally, 
Right? So think about the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Second thing you want to ask yourself is, what skills have you learned from either uh, your tertiary education or from your job? Let's say you are a great researcher. All right? Let's say you're a great writer and you're a great researcher. There are businesses right now who need bloggers. And you don't have to be the face of that blog. There are a lot of businesses who want to add a blogging component to their business. And they just need somebody to write the content. All right? You can write that content. And you don't have to be the face of it. So think about skills that you have learned in your tertiary education. Think about skills that you've learned in day-to-day -day job. And then one of the things I like to do is when you take a when you write a list of, of some of those skills, Google those skills. Because what you're gonna see is there is going to be postings online of people who are already re working remotely offering those skills in other countries. You can do that here. Now, I know in the Caribbean, one of the struggles we have is, and I'm, I'll, I'll use virtual assistants as an example, right? That's online I'm sure everybody's skills. Yes, Kalisha, you're extremely right. You are extremely right. Um, one, of the, one of the issues that we have here in the Caribbean, right? And I'm going to use the virtual assistant, a virtual assistant as an example. We know that that is a profession that is highly coveted right now, right? It's extremely important, especially when you are, are a small business owner and you have to outsource tasks that you probably don't have the time to do, you're not that good at. You can also outsource those things to a virtual assistant. In the Caribbean, there's a lot of professions where because we still have that old school mindset, People need to be shown the value of what that profession actually has to offer in order for them to say, you know what, maybe I do need a virtual assistant. So for the virtual assistants who are here, what are you guys doing to show your value? Many of them that, that, that I know of who are, are struggling to, 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 to break ground, a lot of them are not creating content. A lot of them are not showing why you need a virtual assistant. A lot of them are not showing why they need you specifically as the virtual assistant, right? We in the Caribbean have to work harder to show our value because most people that are looking at the services we are trying to offer don't understand what we bring to the table. It's foreign, it's new, they have no idea what it is. I can tell people I'm an SEO expert and a lot of business owners will be like, what is that? I'm like, well, well I, I help drive traffic to your website. I'm like, I don't have a website. See, my value has been diminished. They don't even have a website, then what am I going to go and sell them? Right? So we have to show the value of what we have to offer in order for it to change the mindsets of a lot of people. Last thing you want to ask yourself in order to really get started with what types of services you can offer is think about those things that your friends and family always ask you for. Because those might be things that you could potentially monetize. So for me growing up, um, I always loved technology. So people, friends, family, people around the neighborhood always used to ask me to come and set up their, their surround sound systems, set up their DVD players, set up their VHS systems when that was back in the day. Help me install the um, the, the modem cards when computers were not coming uh, with with the with the modems with the modem cards uh, with the Wi-Fi cards sorry built in, I would get calls you know to come in to come and install those things. So to this day, you know, being being that I'm I'm good with phones, a lot of people still call me and be like, hey, you know what, what phone do you think I should get? Think about the things that your friends and family are constantly nagging you for what they need your assistance with. Once you figure that out, Google it, because then you're going to be able to see what or if people are actually being paid for a job like that. All right? We going good so far? Again, you know I feed off for energy. Show me some likes. Show me some hearts. Show me something. Show me something. <laughs> 
And for those tuning in, um, sipping on some Moscato tonight, so I hope you guys have some wine in your cups. All right. So, thank you. Hi, Sasha. Hi, Nikisha. All right, I'm, I see my Facebook fan always got me. You guys got me. You guys got me. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's talk about what are some of the popular digital services that you could render right now? What are some things? And I want to dive into this because this is going to give you guys some ideas as to what you guys can do right now, right? If nobody wants to spend $6,000 on a smartphone right now, if nobody wants to buy any smartphones from Rhode Island, damn, what the hell am I going to do to make money? I'm going to take stock of my skills and start saying, okay, maybe I can sell a website. Maybe I could sell some SEO. Maybe I could sell some knowledge. Maybe I could start doing some paid webinars. You never know. You never know, right? Right, ebooks. And Kalisha, we talked about the ebooks yesterday for the digital product segment. But tonight we're going to talk about the services. Right? So, some of these top services that we can start and render in the digital age. You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's do it. One of my favorite things to do in the world is also one of the most profitable services you can render for any business right now. And it's extremely important. That, my friends, is blogging. Avion, you beat me to it. Lord, you beat me to it. Blogging. Blogging is such an important skill that you can monetize for business. Because... And there's so many angles that I can take with, with this when it comes to blogging, right? So, one, for, from an SEO perspective, Google downranks websites that are static. Think about that. When you have a website, after you've put your content in, there's not really many changes you make to your website on a daily basis, right? So if Google is downranking your, your website because it's static, there's just nothing you know, being added to it, then what can you do so that you can, you can establish yourself as an authoritative website on, on, um, on the Google platforms, on the search engine platforms? And that's blogging. Blogging ensures that your website is constantly being updated. There is new content being put out there. Remember, Facebook, Google, these platforms are in the content business. They want your content. Stefan just jumped in. Hey, one thing that I see is that when a new digital service appears in Trinidad, many folks start copying the idea by thinking they can duplicate it. However, it just saturates, saturates the market. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. But right now, we want to talk the good stuff. We want to talk the good stuff right now, right? But we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit later, right? So blogging from a Google perspective, Google wants your website to constantly be updated. If you have a website and it does not have a blogging component or something that is constantly adding content to your website, naturally it's going to be a blog. Whether it, you know, whether you're doing a written blog, whether you're doing, whether you're doing, uh, you're taking your videos that you're creating and you're you're embedding it onto a blog post or you're doing podcasts and you're taking a podcast audio file and you're embedding it on your website, Google wants you to see you constantly updating your website. If you are not updating your website, you're going to be downright and you're going to be fighting harder to get visibility. All right? So blogging is amazing for SEO purposes. Blogging also establishes businesses as a thought leader. Let me tell you something. In 2020, even a couple years back, right? Think about your own selves for a minute. How many of you purchase a product and you don't watch a YouTube video or you don't read a review or you don't read a blog? How many of you are purchasing products without doing any homework? 
Let me flip that because I like I like engagement. If you watch a YouTube video, if you do your homework before you purchase a product, so you read a blog, read testimonials, watch videos, show me some hearts. Please give me some likes, show me some hearts. If you do your homework before you purchase a product, give me some likes, hearts, all that good stuff. Nice. So when you when you are looking for those for the for, 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 for that information on a product, somebody has to put it out there, right? Somebody has to create that blog. Somebody has to create that video. People have to create content. And when you are creating content, even if you're making a YouTube video, it's still best practice to embed that YouTube video onto your post or blogging section of your website. That way, your website is constantly being updated. All right? So, Blogging is good for a very for a few good reasons. All right. Second thing that you can do. Do I have any graphic designers here? Any graphic designers in the house tonight? If you can learn graphic design, listen. Right now is the time to jump on you, Debbie. Purchase a ten dollar course on graphic design because I guarantee you. Even after that $10 course, you are still going to be better than the majority of people who are making graphics here in Trinidad and the other Caribbean islands. There are a lot of people that are still using graphics or making graphics that look like they were made in the 60s. It looks like they're still using Corel Draw or Microsoft Paint. So if you are interested in graphics or graphic design as a little side hustle, jump on your bed, purchase a graphic design course, Learn some of the fundamentals. Learn how to use Canva. Learn how to use Ezel. Learn how to use any one of the graphic uh, software apps and offer that as a service. Even things like infographics. We love data. We need more data. The infographics are huge for showcasing data and a lot of people do not know how to do it properly. So if you are somebody who can do infographics properly, again, these are services that you guys can render. Graphic design is huge. Graphic design is huge. Yes, and look at that, perfect. Again, jump on YouTube. Learn graphic design because I guarantee you, we are fortunate to be in a market where we're, we're behind a bit. So all you need to do in the Caribbean is just be a little bit ahead of people. As long as you're a little bit ahead of people, you will be able to monetize and earn some additional income. Don't try to play fast and learn off of YouTube and all of a sudden people come to you and you're charging one big set of money. Like you've been in the game 10 plus years and you have this big portfolio of work. If you're brand new, please don't try to price gouge. All right, learn how to do graphic design. There is so many opportunities. Just jump on Facebook. 95% of businesses' graphics are garbage. Like I'm not even sugarcoating it, they're crap. Target them, say, hey, you know what? I can do a graphic for you, 50 bucks a piece or whatever, whatever, whatever. Just don't price gouge, but you guys can work it out, all right? Next up. Third skill you guys can start to learn and build and monetize is web development. Lord have mercy. Let me, I tell everybody this. The greatest skill I ever learned was learning how to build my own websites. There are a ton of platforms out here in the market. There are tons. If you learn how to master WordPress, Master Squarespace, Wix, Joomla, Drupal, Big Cartel, whatever. And you can start Webflow and you can start to build websites. Listen, you will always be in business. I cannot tell you. I turn down every day I turn down offers for me to build websites. Because I don't want to I don't want to build websites for people. I want to coach you 
on how to build your website, right? I don't want to just make money. I want to make money in a way that I like to make money. But again, being able to build my own website has saved me thousands upon thousands of dollars. When I launched Rhode Island, it was an e-commerce website. There was like a hundred products in there. I could only imagine going to a local developer and saying, hey, I need to build this website that has a blog, has my business information, has all of my products, and there's over a hundred products. Um, so uh, how much? I can only imagine the price tag on that. They want to charge you like 10 grand for three pages of a website. So I can only imagine what the cost of that would be. All right. So web design is a is a uh, is a skill that you guys can learn. For me, I learned it um, through a couple of ways. Um, I had somebody show me the very bare minimum basics. Then I bought some WordPress books that were cheap, like ten like ten dollars on um, on Amazon, like WordPress basics. I watched hours and hours and hours of YouTube videos. And then the beauty of WordPress is when you get a theme, every single developer, because what developers are doing for WordPress, right, is rather than building a custom website for one person, they are now building a theme, which is a fully complete comprehensive website. And they're building that as a digital product and selling that. So when you purchase that theme, the only thing you need to do now is customize the theme. Everything is there. The, the, all the pages, all the design elements, all the structure, the, the, the sales funnel for the shopping cart, all of that is built in. The only thing you got to do is customize it to your needs. Change the colors, change the content, change the pictures. You can add pages with, with page builders. You do not need to pay, or you don't, you don't need to know how to code, right? You just need to use how to use page builders. So watching hundreds of watching YouTube videos and then when I got the when I got my first theme and I was reading out the entire step-by-step -step tutorial about how to customize every aspect of the theme I did that once and man it just set me on a course because I went down the rabbit hole and I just started to keep on learning and learning and learning and now I actually teach people how to build their own website you know yes Kalisha Elementor that's one of my favorite page builders I, I love it I love it. I love it. It makes life easier. Uh, yeah, it makes life easier. Michael or oh, Marshall Buchanan. I'm take, I'm getting a question on Facebook. Marshall Buchanan asks, "What is the best website hosting service?" Well, my friend, I host with Overbuild.com. <laughs> Overbuild.com is great. The owner is actually in the chat right now. He's also a master WordPress uh, developer. Uh, overmill.com you could also use things like HostGator Iolos is pretty good what I do is for, for web hosting what you could also do is just type in top five WordPress hosting companies and then you will always get a list and see what people are ranking them at right? but I use Overmill it's local the, um, the owner of the company helps me tremendously on, on any sort of technical issues that even my old hosting company, which was a big company, could not help and fix for me. All right? So web development. Next up, creating online courses for people. There are many people who would love to create a course, either don't know how to do it, they're just not that tech savvy, or their mind just doesn't work like that in order to really create a banging course. If you can learn how to build courses on a uh, teachable, build it on a um, teachable Kajabi uh, Thinkific, if you learn the tools to build courses and you can go to people and say, hey, you want to teach people how to cook? All right, cool. The only thing I need you to do is give me the content and I will build the courses out for you. If you can build the courses out for people, Listen to me, anybody doing that in the Caribbean right now, you are sitting on a gold mine because courses, like courses originating from the Caribbean, haven't really taken off yet, but they are going to. They have to because we have so many people who are coaches, right? They're teaching. They're just not teaching in a, in, in a good monetizable format other than, can you hire me to be a consultant? 
or hire me to come in and do a workshop for you guys. Those things aren't going to cut it, right? You just coming in and doing in-person workshops is not going to cut it. You need to start actually building your courses. But guess what? If you don't know how to actually build the courses, you can outsource those things to the people who know how to properly use Thinkific, Kajabi, Teachable, whatever platform you want to use, Coursera. If you know how to build courses and you are building it for people, you are going to make a lot of money because that boom is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Next up, podcasting, podcast editor. There are many people who can create a podcast. They sound good on the mic. You know, they, they're, they're good enough to just plug in their microphone and talk and, 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 and give you all the content. But when it comes to editing, they don't know what the hell to do. You know, they don't know how to edit the sound files, the wave files, and that's just not their thing, right? They would rather spend their time doing something else, but maybe they're just not that savvy to do it, and they prefer to outsource that work to somebody else. If you are good at editing audio, listen, start putting services, start putting that service out there that you can edit audio or, or audio clips and target the podcasters. We have so many Trini podcasts that are coming out. You can start to, uh, to pitch your services. But again, it's a skill that is not just needed in, in the Caribbean. You can apply that skill all over the world. There are millions of podcasts coming out, and everybody's looking for a podcast editor. Right? So think about it. If, like, you know how our, our friends and family in the States and Canada, they come to the Caribbean and they ball out because the exchange rate works in their favor? It's the same thing for business. These companies would rather outsource that stuff to, to, to Caribbean or India or Malaysia or wherever because it's cheaper to do that. So, if you guys can start to put uh, your skills out, editing, uh, editing podcasts, again, that's definitely something good. Uh, that's, that's, good that's a good service to render right now. Uh, number six, writing ebooks. If you can create ebooks for people, Gold mine again. There are tons of people who have content sitting in Microsoft Word documents who simply do not know how to turn a Microsoft document and print it up and turn it into an ebook to sell or to give to their clients. Whatever their use is, they just don't know how to do it. If you know Canva, even if you're using the free Canva, please play around in Canva. Learn how to create ebooks in Canva and start pitching that service. You you have a Microsoft document, you want an ebook? Great, no problem. I can turn that into a fancy, good looking ebook using just Canva. You wanna you wanna throw it up on Amazon? No problem. I have Kindle Create. I can turn your ebook, I can turn it into a into a into a, a readable file on Kindle and we have it uploaded. For, for Kindle. Learn how to create ebooks because there are many people who do not, or they're not, they, they're not going to design, right? Or again, they just don't have the time. They would rather outsource ebook creation to somebody else, right? Whatever people do not want to do, or somebody else's ignorance because they don't know how to do it, that's your money maker. That's your money maker. Ebooks. Learn how to make ebooks, start rendering that service, and start creating ebooks for people. You don't have to do it for yourself. If you're somebody where you don't have something to sell or you don't have you don't have something to create, create it for somebody else. Create that, that ebook for somebody else. Huh. So I have a list, right? And I, I just, I'm just looking at that next that next one and I gotta take a drink for this because y'all are already a lot of y'all are already doing this right now. If you're doing it well is the question. Hmm. Next up, Instagram marketing. How many people are on Instagram and have no idea how to properly do Instagram 
ads. Many of y'all do not know how to do Instagram ads, right? Now, you have to start looking for people who understand your business, what your ROI is, what you're trying to achieve. You're not just trying to get likes and followers. If you're doing Instagram ads, you want more than just likes and follows, right? You want somebody who can show you the ROI for, their, for your ad spend. Many of the people who are social media managers are popular people on social media. And just because they are popular doesn't mean that they can get you likes, follows. It doesn't mean that they can get you a return on investment for your ad spend. So if you do not know how to properly market on, so on Instagram, find somebody who does look at their portfolio have them show you stats if people cannot show you a portfolio if people cannot show you stats if somebody cannot show you how they took someone's ad spend and got them this amount of revenue if they're not even saying that that phrase they're not for you you want to outsource your Instagram ads to people who can take your ad spend and show you what revenue they can get you. Show they, 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 they should be able to understand what you are trying to do and create an ad campaign that fits what you are trying to do. All right? So Instagram marketing. If you are somebody who knows how to properly market on Instagram, Again, you are sitting on a gold mine because the people who are currently doing it for the most part do not know how to do it properly. Everybody's trying, everybody's ROI is likes and follows. But it's a pandemic. Are likes and follows are likes and follows putting money in your bank account? Please, I would love to know. We know it's not. Right now, our budgets are tight. We don't mind spending, but we know that we need to be able to get some return all right we do not mind spending but now we have to get a return so if you are an instagram marketer and you know your stuff listen now is your time to shine because people want to make money people want to make money people are cutting back things but they still need to make money your time is now next up Online coaching. So if, well, again, we, we, uh, we're stuck in the house, right? We really can't and shouldn't be going out too, too much. You know, a lot of us non-essential people have been mandated to stay home. <laughs> the non-essential people have been mandated to stay home. So, you know, they, they, they've been kicking us out of the parks. They don't want us working out. So what are we to do? online coaching whatever you are doing you can be doing a zoom call and coaching online right for the most part because I was teaching WordPress and again for me it's new teaching people how to do it and obviously the people who are who are learning from me are brand new to it I wanted to be side by side with them to give them that extra support Right? But now it's forced me to just really learn how to do it online, you know. So whether you are a cook, whether you are teaching how to build websites, whether you're teaching people how to do marketing, whether you're, whether you're doing fitness, listen, online coaching is something that everybody can do once you have a skill. If you have a skill, there are ways for you to do online coaching, all right. So take a look at that. And then even still, if you are in a business where maybe you were not, you're not really, uh, you're not really coaching people, right? But let's just say, and I'll, I'll, use this, I'll use this example again from yesterday. Let's just say you have a restaurant and you make food for people, right? Why not offer online cooking classes? A lot of us do not want to purchase outside food. A lot of us are, are just buying groceries and going home because we don't want anybody touching our food. So why not jump online and say, hey, I got, uh, it's $10 a month, 
And every day I'm going to teach you guys a, 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 a recipe. I'm going to teach you guys how to cook a, a certain meal for 10 bucks a month. Remember, with digital, it's not about charging people a ton of money. It's about the scale. So if you charge $10 US and you get 100 people to sign up for that, for your, for your, uh, for your, cooking, your cooking school, great. All right? Just an idea. Just throwing it out there. Service affiliate marketing. So whether you want to do it for yourself or whether you want to do it for people. So does anyone know what affiliate marketing is? I mean, any anybody know what affiliate marketing? If you know what affiliate marketing is, just give me give me some hearts. Give me some hearts if you know what affiliate marketing is. If you know what affiliate marketing is, give me some likes. Give me some hearts. Give me something. Give me some energy. Give me something. Dr. Terry, what what? You're back again. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> All right. So affiliate marketing is essentially you selling products on behalf of somebody else and earning a commission. That's really all it is, all right? So the biggest affiliate marketer in the world is Amazon. So Amazon has an affiliate program. Um, once you register, you can sell all the products on the Amazon store and earn a commission, all right? Terry, I know you're busy, <laughs> but I love it. Thank you nonetheless. Um, yeah, so Amazon's the biggest affiliate marketing place where you're selling products um, and earning a commission off of that. So where, Amazon, where, where affiliate marketing is nice, right? So I'll tell you how I do affiliate marketing. So I'll blog about something, and it might not be a product I even, I even sell. But if I blog about it, right, I'll put, a, I'll put an affiliate link in the blog so that when somebody clicks on that link and they go and purchase it, I'll earn a commission. Now, does, do you guys want a secret about Amazon affiliates? I know you guys like secrets. I know you guys came here for gems, you know? I know you guys came here for gems. Right? I'll give you guys a little, a, little, a little secret, all right? So, with Amazon affiliates, if somebody clicks on a link, to your, to, of the product that you clicked on. I mean, of the product that you put out there, right? If they click on that link and they get into Amazon, but they don't purchase the product that you listed, but then they decide, you know what? Let me go and if I had, if, if I had products that were, if they, if they had products that was in the car and they check out. So what they did was they, they read your blog, they clicked on the Amazon link, just to see what it was and they want to buy it, but guess what? They decided to go to their cart and pay and purchase whatever was in their cart at the time. Because they came into Amazon through your link, you would get a commission off of everything that was in their cart. Surprise! It's a nice little nugget of information. <laughs> So there's been times, and now you get a when you when you go into your Amazon affiliate account, you can see everything that people purchase. So I remember the very I remember the very first one, the very first product that was ever purchased. It wasn't something I posted. They had just purchased what was in their cart, and you know what that thing was? Because I can see what they purchased. It was a hair loss serum. I kid you not, I died because I'm like, yo, what the hell? Like, I don't have no hair. So what, what, what were they doing, right? Apparently, there was a little bald person out there that, that you know, they had this serum in their cart. They clicked on my link, and it was for some books I was talking about. So they clicked on the books, didn't buy the books, but they had the hair loss serum in their cart, and they purchased it. And I got commission off of the hair loss serum. Lord, I had a good laugh. I, I, I had a good laugh. I had a good laugh, right? So you, you earn a commission. Whether they purchase your products or if they enter Amazon through your link, you will earn a commission off of their cart when they, uh, when they purchase. All right? All right, next up, virtual assistant. Well, I'm going to kind of flow through this because I know it's already after 9 o'clock already. Lord. All right, virtual assistant. 
self-explanatory. We have, we're all working remotely right now. A lot of people are missing, you know, that, that the person they were harassing in, in, in their business, they can no longer get a lot of these things done. Um, virtual assistants right now are, are the way to go. There's a lot of services that a virtual, a virtual assistant can offer. There's a lot of tasks that you guys can, that you guys can execute on. This is your time. This is, the, this is what virtual assistants have been waiting for. You guys have been waiting for the countries in the Caribbean to get hip to technology. A lot of them are struggling and can't do anything. Offer your services because a lot of them are struggling. All right? Remote tutor. Well, again, self-explanatory. That is a wonderful service right now. Many, all schools are closed. Tutors. Whoever had a tutoring business and was struggling before COVID-19, if you are not making money with this virus happening, you probably have to choose a different profession because remote tutoring, this is, this is what you needed. You needed this. You needed this because now parents are going to go out and get the laptops. They're going to get the tablets. They're willing to sign up for those, for those, for those services. They are willing to sign up for those services now. So whoever was, you know, sending their kids to schools on a, on a, on a, on a Saturday or Sunday for, remote, for tutoring, remote tutors, this is your time to shine. This is the pandemic you guys have been waiting for, for your business to kick off here in the Caribbean. All right? Social media manager. Again, there are many businesses that are struggling with social media. They need people to manage it. Manage your inbox, create a content plan, uh, just handle your social media altogether. We need proper social media managers. If you know how to manage it properly, this is a skill that is, again, highly coveted right now. Put yourselves out there. All right? But one of the, re one of the reasons why people struggle with getting clients for social media management is you don't have a body of work. What is the ROI? What is the return on investment? What are you going to be doing for me that's going to add revenue into the business? We cannot cash likes, shares, and follows, right? So again, if you are looking to get into social media management, have a body of work. And how do you do that? Go find any business, any business that has no presence right now, right? A lot of them do not. A lot of them are struggling, right? And a lot of them are willing to say yes to anything right now. Go and find a business, work with them for a month for free on the house just to build your portfolio and turn around and leverage it. Find a business that does not have a social presence, work with them for a month, get some results, get that portfolio, turn around and leverage that to get paid clients from then on. I cannot stress that enough. A lot of people want to come out the gate and monetize. But when you are in a market that is not as mature as the other markets, you have to show value. You have to show what you're bringing to the table. And you having 5,000 followers, I'm sorry, is not enough. That is, that is not enough. You have to show that you can bring in revenue from a business if you are going to be managing your social media. So go out, find a client or two, work with them for a month just to get some results and use that to leverage and get other paying clients. All right? Um, do, 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 do. Email marketing people. Email marketing is huge. Again, if you are using, if, if businesses are only on social media, we already know that the organic reach for your posts are less than 0.4%, okay? Unless you are boosting your content every single time, your content is not going to be reaching people. Therefore, one of the easiest ways to reach your people is going to be through email marketing. If you do not know how to set it up, people, start learning how to do email marketing so you can render those services to other people. Again, the minute you start to build your portfolio, you can start to charge more down the line. But in the beginning, you just need to get somebody to do it for, just so you can get some results, and then you can showcase those results to other businesses, all right? Email marketing saves businesses money, because then we don't have to then 
boost every single post to communicate to our audience. Now, my uh, Facebook fam, hold on one second. Instagram's telling me I have 10 seconds left, all right? So I'm just going to close this real quick, and I'm going to start the live stream back up so you guys can join me, all right? Facebook fam, one quick second. One quick second, Facebook fam. Let me just get the Instagram fam back on. All right, perfect. We're live with Instagram again, all right? People are just reconnecting. All right. So, again, email marketing, learn the skill. MailChimp is a great to start with. It is free. So, use that to get started. Find a business. Get some results. Show them how it works. Get them set up. Do it for them. Your goal is to get some results with the first business that you work with. So you can take, take those results and leverage that for paying clients further on. All right? All right. Uh, JC, what's up? Bella, what's up? Romani, what's going on? All right. People are coming in. If you have a car right now, if you have a vehicle right now and you are not using TTRS or Travi or there's a million of them, Ride Me, uh, uh, Pink Cab, there's so many of these apps. But right now we don't want to be at Maxis. So that is a perfect service to render. Jump in your car and go drive people. Go and drive people. We don't want to be in a maxi. We need more cars on the road so we don't have to touch nobody. We don't have to sit close to nobody. All right? All right, is the next one. If you have a vehicle, money is slow, you're not too sure, you know, what's going on with work, use the rideshare apps. If you're a female, not feeling too comfortable with men being in your vehicle, use Pink Cab. Right? And that way with Pink Cab, you'll only get other female drivers. All right, so that's another great service you guys can render to earn extra money. Kalisha said not with COVID around, but listen, we still have to get around. We, people, people are still going outside. There are people that have no vehicles that still have to travel who don't want to travel. So the only other option is if I don't want to jump in a maxi, then I will pay a ride share. So it's just me in the vehicle. I don't mind if the if the driver bags me down in in Lysol. I don't mind, I'll, I'll take that big and down on my saw because I don't want to sit next to anybody in the back seat. So, yes, you still want to be at home, but there are the there, there are the essential people that have to go to work who do not want to take a maxi, and the only other option is to take a taxi. And I am taking OP car or H car, I will jump in a ride share and pay the extra money so that I'm not sitting next to nobody and I'm gonna to try to be as, as clean as possible, right? So that's why I say the ride share apps. One of the last but not least, full hazmat. <laughs> One of the last but not least, right? Is if you are a lawyer, there are a lot of services you could render digitally right now. So one of my clients is a lawyer. And we've been working on creating standardized contracts that people can purchase online. You can do contract reviews. There are a ton of services that a lawyer can do remotely. So if you are a lawyer and you ain't doing no remote work right now, now is the time to get on your stuff. Start thinking about what sort of products you can create that can be standardized that maybe just need to be tweaked for somebody to use, like, like a rental agreement, right? Create those products as downloadables and go and sell them. If you have to do contract reviews, you don't need to see people to do contract reviews, right? These are services you can render via a digital platform, all right? So, Q&A time. Q&A time. Does anybody have any questions 
about digital services and rendering those digital services. All right, so we've got one. The one and only ledger says, what about physio or massage therapist? Very good question, because right now, your stuff is all <laughs> hands on, right? Now, what I would do is I would start to think about what actions or things don't need any real expertise that people can do. Maybe there's a video that we can show them how to do it, and you can do some online classes to show people how to do certain exercises or stretches, or again, you, you are a little better than me, right? But there must be some actions that you could do online that you could show people so that they can still get some sort of healing. Think about couples. Maybe you do a live stream with, with, with a couple. Uh, uh, like I have scoliosis, right? I would love if, 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 if I had somebody that we could do a live stream with and you teach the person or, or you guide the person on how to on how to how to stretch me out or massage, I would pay for that, right? Think about the things that you could potentially teach that again are not too complex that you might be able to do via a live stream, that you might be able to put in an ebook. Maybe there's exercises because like for me, what I do is I sprain my ankle some years ago. So I always have a ball, a tennis ball or a ball beneath my, beneath my desk and my foot is always rolling around on, on that, right? I would love to know more exercises that I could potentially do for my, for my, for my foot. Um, and again, these are things that I would definitely pay for. And if, if one person is willing to pay for it, there are other people that would be willing to pay for it. All right, so Marshall Buchanan asks, so let me get you up. What local financial service other than banks can I use with my website to turn it into an e-commerce website? Now, we touched on that yesterday, and I actually am going to have a full live on that. That live is titled, The Three Keys to E-Commerce, where I'm going to be diving into all of that. But essentially, what the local finance uh, can I use my website to turn into an e-commerce site? We are limited. Right? The only thing that you can really use is PayPal, WePay, and FAC. Those are the only real options you can use, and BuzzPay. So those are your options right there in terms of turning your website into e-commerce. PayPal, WePay, FAC, which is First Atlantic Commerce, and BuzzPay. FAC, there's a lot of credentials that, uh, that you need in order to get that off the ground. That's why more governments and uh, e -cop, more governments and enterprises will use the uh, will use First Atlantic Commerce. BuzzPay has been very very quiet. Um, I haven't heard much from them over the past year. WePay is 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 as good as ever, and uh, PayPal is still there. Although the issue with PayPal right now that a lot of people don't know is if you are just starting out with PayPal and you want to use PayPal on your website. For people in Trinidad, in order for PayPal to work on your website, you have to enable something on your account that can only be enabled by an account specialist. So if you're in Trinidad, this is your first time using PayPal or you're using on your website to send or receive money, chances are you're going to be blocked. It will tell you that there is a restriction. That is because you need to enable something called automatic payments on your Facebook, on your PayPal account. And that can only be done with a account specialist in PayPal. And the problem with that right now is that a lot of the uh, the account specialists, PayPal has closed them down so you can't even call into them because of the pandemic going on. But WePay is your best bet. All right, Kalisha, what about app development? Not sure if you mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you can build apps, that is a great service to render. If you can build apps, if you're an app developer, if you know how to build apps, that is an amazing service that you can render that, again, that you're going to be able to do remotely. Thank you for that, Kalisha. That is another great service that you guys can render. 
Let me know any questions about digital services. Any questions that you guys have with respect to digital services. And again, for those of you who are just tuning in, that might have missed it from the beginning, it is extremely important to start thinking digital because if you are unable to render your service in person, right? If you have been mandated to stay home or close down, you're taking hits, you need to start thinking about what services or products can you either create or what service you can render remotely. That way, while we're quarantining, you're still able to earn money. And then one of the beautiful things about being digital as well is you're no longer limited by geography. You're not limited to just Trinidad. You're not limited to just the Caribbean. You're not limited to just Jamaica. You can sell those services anywhere in the world. There are marketplaces like Fiverr, um, Upwork, Freelance.com that you guys can register and skills that you guys have like copywriting, uh, ebook creation, uh, copywriting, whatever. You guys can render those services on those platforms and earn money. All right? In the digital age, there should be no reason why we are strapped for cash, where we, we just cannot earn revenue. Your main business, your main service might have been hit, but there are so many ways to make money. Now is the time to start learning new skills. That way you can start to render those services. Now, if you are looking for places, let me touch on this before we, before we wrap up tonight. If you are looking to learn new skills, right? Free information is good. Right? You can always jump on YouTube, you can Google, you can watch the forums, you can read, right? Free information is always good to get you started, but you're, you buying courses, buying books are going to give you a guided approach, a guided strategic approach to learning particular skills. So you can go on uh, places like Coursera, EDX, Khan's Academy. You can follow some of your favorite influencers, YouTubers, or, or, or thought leaders, a lot of them have their own courses where they have built them on a Kajabi teachable thing of it where you could learn skills. Alright? So um, there's um I'll post it on I'll post it on Facebook. I had done a blog about some of the top places that you guys can go, some of the top online platforms you guys can go to learn skills. Another one is Skillshare, Udemy. There are so many digital platforms where you guys can learn skills right now. HubSpot, Hootsuite, Lord have mercy. A, what DMI, what, what, what's the full name of that again? There's, there's a new one, Trend. Trend has their I Create Institute, I Create Institute out of Jamaica where they're teaching courses. Yes, I Create, perfect, right, I Create, yeah. There are so many platforms where you can learn skills right now and you can do it remotely. You can do it from home. And if you learn those skills, if you're learning it digitally, you can offer it remotely and you can earn revenue. All right, for me, Droid Island, I don't expect uh, people to be buying phones right now. It'd be kind of silly for me to be, to be thinking that. Um, if B-Mobile, Digicel, or Huawei, Samsung, any one of those companies call me to do to do content videos, great. Um, but at the same time, I'm still looking at other things. I, I, I know that Droid Island is going to take a hit, but I'm not worried because I can still build websites. I can still do SEO. I can still do email marketing. I can still do remote coaching to help people build their businesses. So there's still a lot of other skills that, that I've picked up that I can now render and do that remotely and still and still uh, and still and still make a living, right? So it's everybody needs to think about you know what they're passionate about, what skills they can they can learn or want to learn, because this is a time. This pandemic is helping everybody. This pandemic is helping everybody in the Caribbean think digitally. Now it's going to be about who has the skills that can help all of these businesses 
get online. Help them build systems. Help them not miss a beat with them having to slow down their operations or close it down because you have skills that can help other people get to where they need to be. All right. So I don't think any more questions are coming in. So I think we can leave it there. It's it's a Jesus Christ. It, an hour and a half. We started at eight. We started at eight fifteen. So an hour and fifteen minutes. Today was good. If you if you guys liked today's session, hearts, likes, please show me some love. Let me know what you guys thought about today's session. You know, the, the, I I definitely want to be doing more of these. Um, I threw out um, I threw out uh, a poll. And I asked everybody, you know, what, what three, I gave everybody three topics. What did you guys want me to talk about tonight? Either the three keys to e-commerce, the digital services, or building a WordPress website from scratch equipped with e-commerce integration. The majority said they wanted to learn about digital services they can render right now. So that is what we talked about today. Tomorrow... Either, either, either tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, so either tomorrow or Friday, I'll make the announcement, but either tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to do another one of those topics, and um, yeah, we're going to keep the ball rolling. I want you guys to win. I want you guys to think digital. I want you guys to start either building an online business or adding digital components to your already existing business, okay? The goal of these, of these live streams is to educate, get you guys thinking, about what's the next step? Listen, even though we're being quarantined and kept inside and things are looking, you know, a, a little rough, there's a lot of things that we can do. There's a lot of things that we can learn right now. So we're not we're not out. I know for me, I'm not I'm not I'm not too worried. I'm worried about everybody else. Because I know collectively if if everybody's feeling it, a lot of things are gonna change. You know, so uh I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried on that. On that from other than that, listen. It's a great time because now everybody's being forced to think digitally. So build up those skills. All right, build up your digital skills. Start thinking about what services you can offer remotely. Start thinking about what skills you can learn so you can start to monetize and render those services. You want to start off small. You want to find a business you can work, do and do some free work, build your portfolio so that you can turn around and leverage that portfolio, leverage the results, and start to earn money. All right? Um, last one, Kevin. Kevin, good evening. Thank you for your advice. How can my online business begin making money? That's a, that's a very loaded question. You're going to have to, that, that's one that we would have to talk about offline or, or in a discovery call because that's a very, I have to know your business and, and dive into that. All right. But again, you can always reach out to me and we can always schedule something up. A forced digital revolution. I like that. And we're going to end on that. And we're going to end on that note. The coronavirus has forced us, the Caribbean, into a digital revolution if you have been with me from the beginning since 8 15 this morning I mean p.m give yourself a round of applause all right give yourself a round of applause i want to thank all of you guys for tuning in to the live i want to thank all of you guys for tuning into the live stream today and we will be back with another one either like i said either tomorrow or on friday i'll make the announcement when i do and it will be either on the three keys to e-commerce or what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a WordPress website from scratch with you guys live. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to build a website within an hour. I'm going to integrate e-commerce. I'm going to show you guys it can be done. For all the people who think WordPress is too hard, websites are too hard, we're going to put all that madness to bed. We're going to build a website. So we're either going to talk about the three keys to e-commerce or we'll build it from scratch, all right? Anyways, I have my wine. Toya, my trainer, I love you, but I, I need wine tonight, so. Uh, peace out, A-Town Down, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>